can save her. You're almost there. Focus on me, Peter. Focus on my voice. You have to find me. We need to get everything ready. Mom will be home soon. Come on, get up. Nikki, what? I need your help. Mom will be home for lunch soon, and I want everything to be perfect. Uh, Nikki. For her birthday. That's today. Did you forget again? Listen to me, okay? None of this is real. Are you kidding? Dad! You promised you'd help me surprise Mom for her birthday. No, I didn't. Yes! You said you'd help fix the hollow projector, and the cake still needs candles, and I can't find the present we got her. Oh, come on, Nikki. <laughs> None of this seems oddly familiar to you. Oh, no, I ordered it from the bakery planet. Okay, that part was always weird. No, I baked it. Okay, that just leaves the present. Okay, Nick? What if I told you none of this is real? Uh, obviously not. It's not focused right or something. Can you refocus it? Stuck in a kid's dream. We're all gonna die. How's it coming? Super great. Yeah, okay. That's still pretty cool. It turned out so good. I was sure I messed part of it up. Speaking of messed up... Yeah. It's hollow, and the star system around it, and I think I got all the moons. It's beautiful, Nikki. Just need Mom's present now. I think it's somewhere in my room. Don't forget the present! Happy birthday, love Nikki and Peter. What am I supposed to do? Did you find it? Yes! Okay, put it with the others! Great! A gift! Put it on the table. Does anything I say here actually matter? We got it. On Nowhere. Remember the artist's alley we went to and the painting she really liked? Of Krilar? Guess that answers my question. Any chance we can talk now? I don't think so. How does it look? Looks like you're knee-deep in this promise. Thanks, Dad. I love you. Oh, boy. Peter, open the door. It's Matt. I'll make sure everything's perfect. You get the door. Oh, am I ever glad to see you. It is crazy weird in there. Nikki's on a loop. Nothing I say matters. We need to find a way to get through to her. Peter. I know, I know. We need a plan. There's no we. Okay, I get it. I have a lot of making up to do. Peter. If we're gonna do this... I'm we... dead, Peter. Yeah, but... Not like dead, dead. Right? I heard your voice. No, you brought me here. I'm seeing you here now. You're seeing a ghost. Some part of me is inside the soul stone, but not in any way that's real. We can figure it out. Maybe we can no. find a way. You need to focus on her now. Help her accept that I'm not coming back. I just... 
I wish you would have told me. Told you what? About Nikki. You know? You, me, 12 years ago. Oh, Peter. I did the math. Her promise isn't real. Yeah, I know, but the rest of it is. Right? You and me on Mercury? I remember that night. So do I. But she isn't your daughter. She's not my daughter. I don't understand. She's a war orphan. On the shuttle home, the Cree Council was rounding up anyone who wasn't full-blooded enough. Nikki was this... tiny little thing. I couldn't let them kill her. So I'm... not... a father. No. Well, not her father. Well, okay. That doesn't mean she doesn't need you. She has to let me go. I tried. She won't listen. She has to. The birthday, the presents, whatever it is, it's keeping her attached to some fake version of me, of us. Destroy the illusion and make her listen. You know I'm not equipped to. Yes, you are. You have to be. I know. Where's mom? That was her, right? She's not coming. Of course she's coming. I guess that was just... just Carlos telling us she's running late. Which means I still have time to get the music just right. Destroy the lie. She'll come. Hey! What is wrong with you? I'm sorry, Nick. No! Fix this. Stop it! Stop it! Mom will still come. It's not real, Nikki. None of this is real. I hate you! You're not my dad! You're not my... Yeah, kiddo. I know. You ruined it. You ruined everything! Mom was gonna come in and... and... All I want is to see her. Whatever walks through that door... ...won't be your mom. You don't know that. Well, there's a lot I don't know. How to keep my foot out of my mouth. How to not get arrested. How to console a 12-year-old whose very legitimate grief might just destroy the galaxy. But this... ...the promise, Nick. I know a con when I see one. This isn't about you. Why are you even here? I know how you must feel. Very hurt and angry. No, you don't! Right, like, not exactly how you feel. I just meant that... I don't care what you meant. I don't want anything to do with you. Right. Okay. I need her back. I don't care if it's not real. I need things to go back to how they were, even if it means making the same stupid game for all stupid eternity. Just the thought that she might come back is better than admitting that she never will. And that... And then it's all my fault. If I hadn't distracted her... If I'd been quicker... You're not the reason she's gone, Nick. Don't put that on yourself. Why not? It's true, if I had just... It's not true. You didn't make that thing. You didn't release it. You're not the reason your mom was where she was. 
There's a lot of blame to go around, but there is no way you deserve any of it. It could be her. Only you can reject a lie, Nick. All I can tell you is me. I don't think it's her. I think it's a very bad thing that wants to eat the entire galaxy. And you know your mom? For all her faults? It's not the galaxy eating type. But it doesn't matter what I think because it's not my promise. I can't destroy it for you. So let's just say that the creepy thing at the door is not my mom. I can do that. I still don't know how... How does anyone... Am I just supposed to smash cakes all day? <laughs> Breaking stuff is pretty cathartic. There's other ways. What are you doing? It's an earth thing. My mom taught me. The idea is that you light something to remember someone. To pay tribute. It's not magic or anything. It doesn't bring anyone back, but... You know, it's, it's a gesture. A small thing in the face of a very bad thing. Sometimes that's all we have. the elevator she was angry at me not that angry more like uh, lovingly concerned hey whatever happens you're not alone okay There is something I do have to do alone. on Raker's fan club.
Every time they go splat, it paints an awfully nice picture. <laughs> There's no way we lose today, Quill. We are painting the battlefield right now, Rocket, in so many shades. But we're too excited. This love fest, this dazzling euphoria, it'll all disappear. Who's with me? Die, Zeke! Danger close, Rocket! Wrap him up, bud! Trash! Shock him! It's all you, Kamala! I can't figure which of the two of them is more irritating! Raker right now! Warlock, what we win? <laughs> Peter's eyes are Quark! Kill the orb!
trees. It lied to you. To both of us. Look at it. Really look. My child. Before you, your benevolent guardian of the galaxy. <laughs> it is done! Okay, okay, we'll give you this one. Shall we? Our door and masses await. So, we actually won? Black and right we did. We must save the entire galaxy more often. Count me in! Next time, I, I promise I won't almost destroy it first. No more promises from you. <laughs> <laughs> We're in this moment, people. Let's make sure we bask in it. <laughs> there you are, you old dog. We have multiple dog report items to discuss. Case is closed. No need. Guardian of Galaxies. Live up to name. They had some help. Oh, gosh! Who are all these little guys? If Guardian are looking for more work, Cosmo always chasing problems. I think what we need right now is a nice walk. Well fought, Destroyer. And your delicate friends. The lady deems me delicate? <laughs> and who is this precious little candy in his golden wrapper? <laughs> Ew. Gross. Uh, I, uh... Lady Hellbender, we regret the death of so many great beasts, but we honor their sacrifice. They died protecting their pack. There is honor in that. Will you return to Segnarf 9? We must first build a worthy home for Foom, or he will devour every creature on my world. If he gets loose again, give us a call, and we can discuss rates. As we calculated, the Golden God proved key to dismantling the Universal Church of Truth. A sound summation. 
How about a little credit for not letting you make the worst decision of your collective lives? Twice. Twice. Your, your additional data analysis did adjust certain computational can just feel the world butt clenching. What, wild beast? What foul fluid? Foolish, fickle creature! Uh, behold, one of the other guardians of the galaxy. I am Groot. What did he say? Yeah, that'll show you to your room. Except we don't got a spare room, you big lug. I am no. Flark, no. Hey, Groot, you give her yours. I got a lot of important scud in mind. I'm glad it's this ending, and not the really sad one. How many sad endings were there? Ugh, a lot. Oh. <sighs> Please proceed. Ah, you go ahead. No need, I insist. No, I insist. Please, proceed. This pointless pageant of politeness plagues our progress. Which is why you should go first. Very well. I will voyage through the vexing vestibule. The limit, I guess. Clearly, it is not. We could rob a bank. We are broke. Wow, I, I am not robbing a bank. That's illegal. And super fun. You are corrupting the child. Relax, Drax. It's a suggestion. A potentially really lucrative suggestion. <laughs> you okay there, Gold Bond? It is irritating indigestion. <clears throat> Nothing of note. Okay. Well, there's a bathroom in the back if you need it. So, Mantis, now that the universe is safe again, what are you gonna do? I don't know. I guess I'll go back to Lamentis. Although, I hear Earth is really nice this time of year. Ooh, maybe I'll go check out Contraxia. You can gamble there. Uh... Shouldn't we give Contraxia a bit of time to, you know, unpromise? Either way, it is no place for a child. <laughs> Seriously, man. Oh, you don't look so good. Where's the first aid kit? I have basic field training. <laughs> we do not own a first aid kit. What are you talking about? We have a first aid kit. Engine tape doesn't count. You probably just need some ginger ale. Don't worry about little old me. I feel simply... Fabulous. Come on! Vegas. 
This is the one where Golden God Guy is consumed by the bad thing and he tries to destroy the galaxy. And probably succeeds. Why does it feel like Bug Girl's inside my head? I'm inside all of your heads. This way, Maggie can't overhear your super amazing plan. Which is? Oh, no. It's better if it comes from you. Him. Me. Destiny makes three. And we're all gonna die. My final form, the new norm! The stone. But that thing attacked my mom and me. It was terrified of the stone. Yes, I too have sensed its fear of the stone. Oh, yes! The ancient stone! One of the six! It's the only thing strong enough to contain the all-powerful soul of Magus! Oh, 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 okay, uh, so we just gotta get him uh, closer and then throw a magic rock at him? Exactly! Tiny, whiny, vexing specks. Woohoo! What are you all up to? Mantis, how do we lure in the big bad? It's time to kneel before the new idea. I'm doing what you do best, Guardian. <clears throat> nah, not being friendly. I think she means aggravating you. If anyone can piss off a god, it's us. <laughs> do it! Kneel and revere your god. For who better to oversee? <laughs> Bravo! Bravo! You're applauding him. I'm clapping ironically. Does he know it's ironic? <laughs> yes! Applaud your god. Nope. Grant nothing but lies and false promises. And you're the worst! Then why are you clapping? For mocking you, idiot. What? I said kneel! No! Get out of there! Yes! This is right! This is the way! The stone! You must use the stone! He's still too far away! 
Seems like he's hanging back on purpose. What are you waiting for, Quill? Say something to throw him off. Yes, infuriate him with your carelessly chosen words. Beleaguered brats, like little gnats. Cat, bat, muskrat, Matt. You can rhyme. We get it. Seriously. How is it possible for you to have gotten even more obnoxious? Cat, fat, splat, splat, splat! Quadromat! You begin to annoy me. It's what we do! Combat, format, diplomat! <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Ah. We don't make sense? Ever since we met you, you've been nothing but a giant pile of word vomit. And now you gotta rhyme everything too? Inconsequential ingrates! Okay, pretty sure we derailed him. He's doing the planet thing! Nikki, you ready to save our butts again? Just be careful. It's definitely growing on me, Quill. Everyone's a victim! I don't say it enough, so I'm just gonna say it. I fucking love you guys! Well done, child! Okay, I definitely think we're getting to him. We just gotta hold out a little longer. Tick tock, enough talk. You begin to form. Giant insects incoming! Most acceptable, let the squashing begin! The scourge grows in numbers! Heads out! We got five sharp thingies! Seriously, have you met us? That's right! We're the Guardians of the Galaxy! 
We have business cards. And we'd rather die than submit to you! You dare defy a god? Have you no notion of my... Oh, shut up! What did you say? She said you're the worst! Your mockery mocks my very... Gotta be okay. Right, Mantis? The important thing is that he did it. You all did. This was not his sacrifice to make. Paid. <laughs> Not yet, but does this mean it's over? Like over, over? The Magus is contained for now. The most insatiable entity in the galaxy is once again a prisoner of the Soul Stone. All that is left is determining what to do with it. Sell it. Destroy it. Those are both terrible ideas. <laughs> he says we should combine both ideas. Stone is neither bomb nor bauble, and not yours to bear. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He just tried to kill us and eat the galaxy! You cannot contain this calamitous force. I created it. I am its keeper. No one can keep that thing. Mantis. The chances of the galaxy being consumed again if we keep the stone? Very high. And if we give it to Goldilocks? Not as high. The child was correct. That perhaps the pull of its power would one day split my lone soul asunder. But I am not alone. Uh, just to be sure, the chances of the bad galaxy thing happening if we sell the stone? Astronomically high. The best way to make sure the Magus doesn't get out again is to make sure together. You know, the second you feel any indigestion, I shall call upon your crew. Motley though you may be, I fear we've fallen friends. And I accord my atonement for the trying to kill you and eat the galaxy. A momentary misstep. Yeah, well, sorry for... All the mean stuff we said about you. <laughs> if the mark of a man is to be bridled, 
None other than he himself must be mandated to toil as... Does he seriously always talk like this? I mean only to say... We're good. It's just that... I'm not the one you gotta convince. Oh, certainly not. Certainly, yes. Well... Ugh. Disgusting. <laughs> okay, now I'm convinced. <laughs> it's fine! Really, I can sleep on the couch. The couch is filthy. I've seen the rodent relieve himself on it. She could sleep in Gamora's room. Since when? Oh, come on. You're a girl, she's a girl. You could play dolls together. There are so many things wrong with that. Well, she ain't getting my room. End of discussion. <sighs> so you just have to build another bedroom and maybe a bathroom and convince everyone that adding another teammate is a good thing. A 12-year-old teammate. One who may or may not need you to provide parental stuff. I mean, come on, man. You did just save the galaxy. Twice. <laughs> so, obviously, embracing this new role is definitely probably going to be just, uh... It'll be fine. Come on. <laughs> I mean, if you can handle Raker and the Magus, pretty sure you can handle a 12-year-old girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little guidance here, some homework there, throw in a few vegetables. <laughs> Where the flark are you gonna get vegetables? I guess Gru could make vegetables. Yes. Yes, that seems like a reasonable thing to ask him. And if everyone's willing to make just a few reasonable sacrifices here and there, I mean, you know what they're like. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely, uh... Wow, uh... They have good qualities. I mean, Drax is fearless, and he's been a dad. Groot, he's, he's compassionate and protective. Rocket can teach her about crawling into things, and Gamora. <laughs> Gamora. She knows about honor and discipline and... and girl stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So so even if you don't have what it takes by yourself, you're not by yourself. <laughs> and you know what? Nikki's a part of that now. She's one of the family. And family means sticking together no matter what. Even if you got to wing it every step of the way. <laughs> My man. What's happening? We appear to have lost power. Sounds like a Nova Corps disabler. Uh, you guys paid your fine, right? Oh, fuck! Uh, I am 